Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, Debussy's Reverie and how he started to employ some what were new harmonies at the time. They seem very tame now, but uh, one of his professors at the uh, French Academy, the French Conservatory, referred to uh, Debussy as a viper in our midst because of his rejection of traditional harmony and counterpoint and his uh, use of what at the time was kind of a new system where he used a lot of ninths and thirteenths in the harmonies but a lot of times his harmonies were very basic still as we'll see here in Reverie it's just that he added these color tones okay so he starts with this G minor 7th with the B flat in the bass and this 11th in the middle there and with the pedal down it's a rather nebulous sound okay and Debussy is very fond of these nebulous cloudy sounds now the right hand comes in okay you have this unusual tone but it's still diatonic it's in that F major scale okay which is this is in the key of F major by the way so it starts on the four chord so very traditional and very simple except for the fact that he has this 11th in the in the chord and this which is a sixth of the uh, G minor chord now here he is an F major seventh with this one added passing tone in the uh, first inversion, the A in the bass. Okay. Today, not that radical sounding. And here we go to a um, G minor with a, um, or actually it's a C, sorry, with the G in the bass. does resolve on this X6, but instead of just to try it, he has to add that 6. Again, it makes everything sound kind of nebulous. Um, and from the beginning, it's, it's he really descends here, like he often does, see? So he does that, now he's going to come right down the scale in the bass. Ending on the F. So he just goes really nothing to it folks now he continues this is a D minor now in traditional harmony this would be considered a weak progression okay it's a six minor going to the three minor it's not a two five so that's considered weak, and again, it adds to the nebulous character of the piece, the dreamy character of the piece. That's why it's called a reverie, I guess. A minor, and then it goes right to this F major seventh, a G minor seventh, repeats the D minor, the F minor. goes to the five chord this C with the added ninths in the melody and also in the harmony right there okay and that's the beginning of Reverie we'll uh, look at the rest at a later date and uh, if you like these videos you can uh, contribute any amount to the link below. There's also a link to the uh, 
WC book and uh, also links where you can contact me for live online lessons via Skype. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.